Every year, smartphones get faster, offer improved cameras, and manufacturers become better and better at delivering attractive phone designs. But it isn't that often that we see them pick up some wholly new functionality. Recently though, there's been a real push towards delivering new hardware-based capabilities, whether we're talking about modular phone hardware or even the reality scanning features of Tango phones like the Fab 2 Pro or new Zenfone AR. This year at CES, we're checking out another company looking to bring new high-tech functionality to smartphones as Chang Hong shows off its new H2. The H2 looks pretty nondescript, but nestled up top on the phone's back is a near-infrared spectrometer that can analyze the composition of materials. In for what spectra who, you ask? Well, basically, the phone shines a light that's then absorbed by an object, not unlike the setup you see on phones or wearables with optical heart rate monitors. That light then interacts with the molecules that make up your target object, and then the spectrometer measures how the light changes as a result of that interaction. By analyzing that data, the H2 sensor can gather some useful information about the substance under analysis. So what good is having a phone that can do all that? Well, we got to look at some apps already developed to take advantage of the phone spectrometer, including one that can tell you how sweet a piece of fruit is before you take a bite into it, and one that's able to analyze pills and distinguish real medicine from potentially dangerous fakes. Other possible use cases include analyzing body fat, evaluating the glycemic impact of food for diabetics, and even determining the alcoholic content of drinks. And as you should be able to tell from that last example, this tech works as well on liquids as it does on solids. Maybe none of these examples have you rushing out to pre-order the H2, but have an open mind here. This is some extremely flexible technology, and once it's out in consumer hands, it should be easy for software developers to come up with new scanning apps to analyze all sorts of materials. The sky's the limit here. China is set to get its hands on the H2 first, with the phone launching in the next few months with pricing that works out to the mid $400 range. And while the details aren't nailed down just yet, we also found out that a US release is in the works for some time this fall. That could happen under some different branding, and pricing very much remains to be sorted out, but it may not be all that long before you're carrying around a smartphone that's capable of some extraordinary sci-fi scanning wizardry. I'm Steven Shank with Phone Arena. CES 2017 may be winding down, but keep checking in for more videos as we bring you the best in mobile tech.